right, so here he is, the undefeated middleweight contender, Paolo Costa. Most would argue this is the scariest power puncher in the 185 pound division at present. And I think for those that would doubt him, he answered a lot of those naysayers in the Yoel Romero fight, outlasting that freak of a man over 15 powerful minutes back in 2019. Paulo Costa appears destined for future greatness, but obviously a big test in front of him here tonight, one he is hoping to pass with flying colors. So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off of the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. All right, here he is, the one, the only, the inimitable Kimbo Slice. No denying the power, no denying the mass appeal. When Kimbo Slice makes the walk and competes in a high-profile MMA fight, the masses tune in. Yes, they do tune in. Some of the biggest heights the UFC or any organization he's ever fought is attributed to Kimbo Slice. Yeah. He has an ability to just draw people in from the internet to the octagon. Kimbo Slice is always one of the biggest stars. Now, a lot of it is because of his personality, but they didn't pull up those Kimbo Slice videos to see him dancing. They pulled it up to see him fight, and Kimbo Slice, at his heart, at his core, is a fighter. No denying the power he has in both hands. He brings that to the table. And don't let the aesthetic fool you. Kimbo Slice might be the nicest guy on this roster. Top All and now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Kimbo Slice. So Herb Dean, third man ready, in there for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here's the former world title challenger, Paolo Costa. He's certainly had to push the reset button on his career a little bit of late after back-to-back -back losses to Adesanya and Vittori, but he believes he is still destined for future UFC gold and glory. Feels like he has put in the training camp of his life, and he believes no matter where this contest goes tonight, he will have the upper hand. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Costa. Oh! Beautiful counter. Early round action here. Captain Hook lands on the kickboxer. Beautifully timed and placed there. And a strong way to start on the field. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook is a very good shot that can land against a guy with that tight high guard. Good job defensively to block that punch. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Costa gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Looking to establish the jab here. 
that strike over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful leverage change. Make him think you're going low, and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, big left hook there. <laughs> Unable to connect. <laughs> both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Well, I'm. Oh! This is big. That's big. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Another one! What a fight. Total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. He's in a lot of trouble now. Good straight hand there by Costa. Great punch. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Just out of range with that right hand. Ten seconds now in round one. Round two next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. The fight is not, though, despite the two knockdowns there in that round. Incredible toughness on one side, incredible power on the other. Incredible power by this fighter, but also a very good patience and a very good approach to finding those kill shots. He has not been able to get his opponent out of there just yet, but frustration cannot set in because when you're fighting someone this good, this tough, it only takes them an opportunity to finish you. Ready. All right, round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, a big left hand. Oh. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, he's got to make sure. Oh, he might be out. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. And just misses with that big right hand. His nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Costa. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched. In the he told us he was going to attack that region. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! 
Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world.